Hey guys, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Due to circumstances, this or that, I'm not going to be present on your screen today, but you can see my hands. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you the perfumes that I got for my birthday. And actually, my hands are really dry, so I'm just going to put some of this Angel Perfume Body Lotion on. Alright, let's get started. So I picked up a couple of perfumes um, in person. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yes. Well, I purchased one perfume in person and I ordered a few online. I did order five perfumes from Fragrance Net. They all came in one order and then I got one from Collage and one from Chanel. I did pick up a perfume in the Sephora sale. It was not any of the fragrances that I mentioned in my Sephora sale video and it was not for me, so I returned it. I don't have that one to show, but I do have the other ones. So I'm going to start with the fragrances that I purchased from Fragrance Net. So this is one, I picked up one in a tester that I had been wanting for a while. I've been wanting to just try it, but to be honest, it was pretty hard to find a um a sample <laughs> or anyone selling like a decant so this is the prada infusions line the infusions to prada and this is ole and that is the um carnation fragrance so this one has notes of australian sandalwood um Honduran Styrax, Indonesian Patchouli, and an essence of Mandarin. It is a tester. It does have a cap, but I don't know. This is like a really cheapy plasticky cap, so I don't know if this is actually the way they come normally, because I would be mad, to be honest, if that was my normal cap. But, um, so this fragrance it doesn't have a heavy carnation scent it's just sort of powdery spicy it's a bit vintage feeling but it's also quite refreshing It's got a very nice, like, the more I smell it, the more I'm picking up on the carnation. Um, it's actually got a really nice scent profile, and it's um, got that kind of powdery infusion de riz vibe, but with that spicy carnation sort of added in, and it's not too much, but it's just it's quite pretty, actually. I'm very keen to wear this on my skin. I, this is the only one I haven't sprayed on my skin yet. Um, and now that I just put that lotion on, I'm not going to be spraying them on my skin. But yeah, so that's the first one. This is the Prada Infusions, the Le Infusions de Prada um, Infusion Dole. And I'm probably butchering that. Um, this one I've wanted for a little while. This is from Merchant of Venice. This is Merchant of Venice La Phoenix My Pearls. And let's see if I can get this out. Like, look how beautiful that is. That's how it opens up. And I pop it out. I don't want to break it. It has this really pretty little necklace. Is it a necklace? Is it? I'm just going to leave that on there because I can't. I can't get it off. So I'm not going to spray this one on the box, but I have sprayed it on my skin. So let's just spray on some paper. We'll just 
spread out some paper. So, oh my God, the first one that bottle is stunning. So this is a rose powdery, soapy scent. It smells like the luster of a pearl. <laughs> like basically, if you take a rose and you did like a pearl luster fragrance, it's clean, it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's fresh, but not too fresh. It's just like that really perfect in-between fragrance of floral. I did have it on my arm. It has faded now. It's been a few hours and I was rubbing around on the pillows and all over. But this is my first fragrance from Merchant of Venice. I've heard a lot about some of their other scents, but um, I did see this one talked about as being quite a clean, soapy scent. And that's really what I'm going for with fragrance choices. Like that's kind of where I'm leaning. I have plenty of heavy scents for like winter. I don't wear them that often because it's not that, like it doesn't get that cold here. So I'm really just trying to build up my collection with more clean type of auntie at the spa vibes. That's like, that's the, that's the whole, that's where I'm going with this. This, I've entered this stage of my life, so. That is the Merchant of Venice. My pearls, I will have the notes, like the full note profiles for everything listed down below. So you can check them out. I'll also link the, them. There's not too many, so I'll link them. So that hopefully if you're interested, you can find them as well. I picked up two more from Le Covent de Minemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemenemen
not one of my favorites. However, much like the last one, the other one that I have that I can't think of the name of it, um, when I first sprayed Saiga, I was like, hmm, I'm kind of, this is questionable. I don't know how I feel about it, but I had sprayed it on my skin and as I let it dry down, the fragrance really blossoms. Um, you can really tell that these were touched with a master hand. There's a lovely craftsmanship about them and the way that they're blended is just quite beautiful. I, I really find this line, especially from the house, to be very well done. Um, they have a few more of them on Fragrance Net, but they kind of go in and out of stock. Oops. So I'm just kind of looking for them, you know, as the, as time goes, like as the days go by in and out. Um, to eventually pick up the ones that interest me and add them to my collection. There's one more, I think, specifically. Again, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but that one is Saiga that I've added to my collection from Le Covent. And then Aqua Sacra. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite of all of the fragrance net fragrances that I purchased. So this is in a different line. This is in their, the Cologne Botanique Intense. So Eau de Parfum Singulaire, Cologne Boutique and Intense. And Aqua Sangra is Jasmine and Tuberose. So it's a white floral fragrance, um, but it's powdery. It has mimosa, which again, I was, <sighs> mimosa is tricky for me sometimes but I decided to take the chance because there was really good reviews on this fragrance. Um, so it says the intense botanical cologne, Jasmine tuberose powdery floral dusk in the honeyed fragrance of the white flower garden at Le Covent de Minime. I, I don't, I don't know how to make my mouth make that word. I'm sorry. Um, it's highly concentrated and long lasting, made with natural botanical essences, blended according to the tradition of French hope perfumery. Um, and yeah, I believe that there's mimosa flower. Um, I'll put the notes down below, but it just smells so clean and powdery, but at the same time with that white floral you get that white floral essence. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like peppery. I think it has pink pepper, mimosa. Um, the row, the tube rose, and the jasmine. But the pink pepper comes off right quickly off the top. So it's a little spicy. It's a little powdery. It's a little bit floral. But again, it's got those clean, powdery spa vibes that I'm like really drawn to right now. I, I don't know why, it's just like I've become an old person. So I'm like, <laughs> I've found myself drawn to the fragrances that everyone say smells like vintage or what do they say how do people not like old lady but when you say like oh this smells very vintage or like a traditional french perfume <laughs> that's what i like because i'm old now it smells so good this next one the final one i picked up from um that i picked up from fragrance net is not of the same vintage sort of vibe. It's a little bit more unique. I got from a lab on fire, the fragrance Paris LA. So a lab on fire has a bunch of fragrances I've wanted to explore, but I just haven't done that. But Paris LA has 
been on my radar for its uniqueness because it has like a cola top note. It's got lime, ginger, and cola in the top. And let me tell you, I sprayed this earlier. Oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> I'm not gonna spray it again because it's really potent. I mean, this is like nuclear strength. Oh, this is so good. This smells like lime. You put the lime in the coconut, and mix it all together. What was the, how did that go? You put the lime in the coconut and mix it all together. However, that was um, they did the coconut with lime. But I'm telling you guys, I had been doing Diet Coke with lime for ages before they did the Coca Cola. Started making it like that. That's what this makes me think of. Is like my teenage years putting lime in Diet Coke to make Diet Coke taste better because we didn't want to drink regular Coke. And then it has some ginger in there for extra spice. And then it dries down to a musk. There's like a sandalwood musk base. <sighs> this isn't really in the spa vibe. Oh, it smells so good. Just try not to spray, okay. But it's just, it's special and it's brilliant and it's beautiful and it will be so much fun to wear the summer because it is a standout. Like this is a fragrance that you will get questions about 100%. So that was Paris LA from Alab on Fire. I did buy two more. Um, the first one I showed on, on Instagram already. Um, and this is Panther Fangs from Collage. I feel really lucky that um, I was able to get a bottle here from the first release. It's beautiful, oh my gosh. Um, so this was a collaboration between Miguel Matos and Elena, who is at the Plum Girl. I'll put um, her Instagram down below and she does a blog and Instagram and everything, has beautiful fragrance content. But this was a, a collaboration between them. And this scent is absolutely to die for. If you like like animalic ambers or animalic musks, this scent is to die for. The scent of this opens up with this beautiful jasmine and floral arrangement that's it's like lush greenery it's soft and sexy it's very sensual in the opening and then as it dries down it becomes this rich like skin roar like a oh it's this is a very sexy fragrance if <laughs> this is a this is a come hither type of fragrance this is like a night out leading to the bedroom type of fragrance because it is <sighs> like damn um so happy um so yeah this is beautiful this was a g birthday gift to me from my husband he doesn't really know that but he did pay for it so that's what it was um panther things from collage and then my other birthday gift to myself is from chanel and this is part of the chanel Lowe's de chanel collection um, I have from a different birthday, or was it an anniversary? I think it was a birthday. Yeah, I think it was a different birthday. I purchased Paris Venice, and I picked up this time Paris Edinburgh. This is a minty juniper, freshy. It's a freshy, but it's not a citrus freshy, if that makes sense. It's got mint and juniper in the top and has some light woods in the base. Um, I mean, this fragrance is stunning. <sighs> Reviews online do put this as more masculine leaning, but I think as long as you um, like a mint, like mint or the scent of mint or even like the scent of eucalyptus, anything that has that kind of minty freshness, you will like Paris Edinburgh. Um, this is just, it's like the scent of a wet 
Scottish Highland Moor. I don't know if those words all go together, but it's fresh, it's clean, it's somehow comfortable and cozy, but also at the same time, it's it doesn't feel warm at all. It's quite a fresh, invigorating fragrance. Um, this is stunning, and I purchased this for my birthday, um, and I'm so happy I did. It's kind of a, like I had been eyeing it. It was kind of a rash, like a, like a, hey, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. It was like a split second decision, but I do not regret it at all because it's beautiful, and I'm going to really love displaying Edinburgh and Venice together because Venice is orange and the orange and the green are gonna look really pretty together so anyway the eau de Chanel's are their eau de toilettes and they are meant to be light fragrances skin scents in the the tradition of um how Coco Chanel would have worn an eau de toilette so the longevity is not huge but as a skin scent I usually get about four hours out of these so anyway that is my birthday fragrance haul. I'm just put them up again. Um, I'm super blessed to have the opportunity to get like all of these great fragrances, whether it's from online or in store, um, you know, just being able to pick up these scents and in really enjoy these fragrances. Um, I've really started to take more joy in my collection and just be more interested in the perfume houses, the perfumers, what they're doing, what they're creating, how they're creating it, um, and enjoying that as opposed to just adding scent after scent after scent that all feel the same. So like all of these, none of these smell the same, although they all smell like my the vibe that I want, right? Except for Panther Fangs is a totally, totally different vibe, but it's a sexy vibe and that's what I need for my nighttime. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you watch my monthly vlogs, I really appreciate it. Um, in the April monthly vlog, you'll be able to see some of the things that I, or some of the things I did for my birthday. Um, my birthday was April 26th. I'm a Taurus. So, which is why I like these heavy, musky, earthy scents. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye. And you should know